Good evening, folks. This is Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, showing you the most powerful evidence climate scientists have of global warming on Wednesday, October 4th at 5.13 p.m. Mountain Time, 2017. Now, the most powerful evidence climate scientists have of global warming is fraud. Let me get into that. Now, these researchers have created something called the ocean heat content relative to baseline, which matches CO2. It's amazing, this made up thing that they've created. The ocean heating, the reason the air temperature is not rising is because the ocean's trapping the heat, okay? And they give you a little global warming at a glance diagram here to perpetuate the fraud. Then they come to these fraudulent maps, which if you watch ADAPT 2030, you know how these are fraudulent. If you watch Suspicious Observer, you'll know how these are fraudulent. But what they do show is a cooling pattern from 2015 to present with less red. So thank you for this paper showing the cooling pat trend. But I want to get to the most fraudulent part, part of the paper. And let me show you the source here. Li Jing Cheng Institute Atmospheric Physics, Beijing, China. Now, ResearchGate is the peer-reviewed journal that these papers are getting published in. I'll give, leave you a link to this and everything else. This is owned by Bill Gates. So Bill Gates is perpetuating this fraud, just like Monsanto is preventing the truth of some archaeological sites from getting out, like Gobegli Tepe. Bill Gates is perpetuating this particular fraud here. But let's get back to the paper. You'll have links to all this. What this is showing is from 2000 to, pr to present that the sea level has risen over 70 millimeters. And this is going to be a presentation on the sea level rise fraud. And the reason I'm doing this is because the majority of Americans want the government to fight climate change now, according to this paper here. I'll leave links to it. And it's because of fraudulent information like this. So what we're going to run, do, run down tonight is some of the data on sea level rise to see how fraudulent this graph really is. Let's talk about sea level rise. In the last 24,000 years, from 14 to 10,000 to 8,000 years ago, in this range, sea level came up 400 feet. And this is how much sea level has risen in the last 6,000 years right here. That's the reality. If you want to get in a closer scale, this is the actual data from 1700. And you will see that something caused sea level to start rising here at the, uh, in the late 1700s. And that something is called the sun. So once the sun became active after the Maunder Minimum, sea level started to warm. Hmm. And then you can see how there was a cool period and then in a spike here in warmth in 1850. Hmm. There's a spike here in warmth in 1850 between these two minimums. Hmm. I wonder if the sun had something to do with warming the ocean. And since then, the, sun has been, uh, the ocean has been warming at a constant rate because we've been in solar maximum. But now we're dropping off the cliff. Notice it leveling out here. But what I want to show you is that this constant rate of rising is now being perpetuated fraudulent ways. We're going to look at some tide gauges from around the world. Bear with me for a minute. And you decide. I'm going to tell you how to read a tide gauge. Up here is the amount of sea level rise for the length of the graph in millimeters per year. So 2.3 millimeters a year is the sea level rise in Key West, Florida since 1900. And if you could see it, it's leveling out here in modern times to flat or even going down. Let's go to another tide gauge. Wismar, Germany, 1.41 millimeters per year. And if you could see the modern data, it's going down now. Take you to a different tide gauge. Here's a tide gauge in Alaska showing either flat sea level or sea level drop. And that's because Alaska is still rising from the last glacial period called isostasy. Here we are in San Diego, California at a two millimeter per year rise. In Poland, it's showing less than a millimeter a year. And in this data, it almost looks level or slightly down at the end there. <coughs> this is Crescent City, California, which is showing a loss of one millimeter per year. And if we come into Finland, another place where the glaciers have retreated and the land is rising, the sea level is dropping seven millimeters per year in the ocean. 
Here we are in Australia, the two major gauges where you can clearly see sea level dropping over the last decade here and it only rising 0.6 millimeters per year since time, the, since time rec records have been kept. So Alameda, California is showing less than a millimeter a year <coughs> of sea level rise. North Shields, England has shown a sea level drop since 1900. Here we are in Annapolis, Maryland, which is the most sea level rise we've seen so far at three millimeters per year. It would take two decades at the most sea level rise to approach anything that this graph is showing <laughs> in, in less than two decades. Oh my goodness. Here we are with the Washington DC data. It's very telling because the end here, it's showing a downward trend past 2010. And again, only 3.3 millimeters of sea level rise at the maximum. Here is a fraudulent graph from NOAA showing the battery New York at a 3.18 rate for all of time. This is a fraud. In fact, this green line is the IPCC projected data. Also a fraud, not even close to what is seen. But this is the actual sea level rise at the battery in New York. And you can see it's been at a constant rate of 2.84 millimeters per year since records have been kept. I'll leave you links to all this. Here we have Skagway, Alaska. If you want to cherry pick data, here's a way to do it. Sea level has been dropping at 20 millimeters per year. Now, the problem with the data is that NASA is a fraud, and so is NOAA. And they're simply fabricating new information as time goes on to confuse the masses and to perpetuate the lie. Here's the data in 2016 versus the 1982 data. Clearly, you can see a difference of 50%. Uh, 50% more sea level rise in just under three decades in fraud. I'll leave you, link, leave you papers to Lee Jink and ResearchGate. This is the actual date of the tides. It shows less than eight inches since 1880 of total sea level rise. And what they're suggesting here is we've had three inches of that in the last 15 years. This paper is garbage. And all papers coming out are garbage. And just to prove my point here, we can see this coming from the University of Colorado. This is Al Gore's prediction of sea level rise. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger's prediction of sea level rise. Here's the IPCC's prediction of sea level rise. And this is overlay with the actual data where you can see almost no sea level rise for all of time. And sea level is about to drop. And I'll leave you with a side-by-side -side comparison of the Statue of Liberty. In 120 years, the ocean is slightly lower in New York. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't and share this with like-minded individuals. Be safe.